Listen, <laughs> sensitive Sally, let's talk about your man crush right now because I have news for you, so tune in. Our Adam Schefter is reporting that sources say Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are creeping along towards a deal. Both sides are still motivated to get it done, but the issue is uh, it'll take some time because the deal will make Rodgers the highest paid player in NFL history. Obviously, he spent his entire career in the green and yellow. Max, I'll start with you. Should Rodgers want to stay in Green Bay? The answer is yes. And the answer is yes uh, in realistic terms, not in like, you know, hypoth not in, not in uh, idealistic terms. You know, ideally, no, he wouldn't want to. They haven't done enough around him. Um, but realistically, unless Bill Belichick comes calling, he's a lifelong Packer. He succeeded Brett Favre. He impossibly, like Brett Favre was the most popular quarterback in the world, and many people thought the best quarterback in the world. Many people thought maybe the best ever. I, I thought incorrectly at the time, but many felt it at the time. Brett Favre dominated sports media, including on this network, dominated it like few ever have, if any. And Aaron Rodgers came along and was clearly better than Brett Favre in this, like, at, at Lambeau, it's an, it's an amazing thing that he did. So there are roots there and a history there that he's established, a legacy that he's established as the Packers, really America's team when you all things considered, as the Packers quarterback that succeeded Favre and created his own legacy. But more than that, how many teams would be positioned to really put him in a better situation? At that point, he's a gun for hire. How many teams, other than the Patriots, obviously, Belichick, would, would, could you say, really, he could do better? You might say, well, one of the reasons the Patriots do better is because Brady restructures his contract, sure, for more guaranteed dollars, but it makes it, you know, lower money in the short term. Rodgers doesn't want to do that, so it's harder to put pieces around him. But why would Rodgers do that when they haven't shown, why would he have faith in them being able to put a great team around him when they haven't shown the ability to do it yet? So I understand why he's going to be the highest paid player ever. He deserves the richest contract ever. He probably shouldn't give up dollars to try to put a better team around him. He will be competitive for the playoffs and maybe even the Super Bowl because that's how good he is. And I don't see a better situation for him unless Bill Belichick comes calling. Aaron Rodgers should want out of Green Bay. There are a plethora of situations that would, would be made for him. They'd make a way for him. But the reason I say that is because he'd be vastly more appreciated someplace else than he has been in Green Bay. I'm not talking about the fans. The fans are phenomenal. I'm not even talking about most folks within the Green Bay Packers organization. But that hierarchy has not shown him the respect, the deference, the admiration that he deserves. This is a man that has completed 65% of his passes. This is a man that's a Super Bowl champion and the Super Bowl MVP. This is a man that's been given very, very little to work with along the years as it pertains to improving the roster. Don't get me started with that defense. There's been questions about a coach Mike McCarthy. Don't get me started with the executive that looked Aaron Rodgers in his face and told him to be quiet. You play football. We make the decisions. Speaking with such disrespect, the nerve, the unmitigated goal of that individual. And not to mention the fact that you not only have that to deal with, we're talking about 65% completion of his passes. We're talking about a four to one ratio. 313 career touchdowns to just 78 interceptions. A career 103 quarterback rating. This brother's on another level. As far as I'm concerned, not only does he deserve his money, regardless of the cap, he should get a masseuse. He should get somebody to do pedicures. He should get a daily massage. He should have a chauffeur. He should have somebody to take out his damn garbage. He should have somebody to take his clothes to the dry cleaners. He should have his vacations paid for. He should have any damn thing he wants because he is the Green Bay Packers. Without him, they are absolutely nothing without Aaron yeah, Rodgers. Okay, so period. just to be clear, you want him to be the highest paid player. Just so just so yes. clear. Oh, okay. And, yes. Okay. And you forgot you to realize say. that leaves less money for other that leaves less money to get you other. Yes, we assets understand. Right you him. mean less money for other assets than ain't any damn assets without him. Yes. And, I you, said for, it. and you forgot to say your little the usual, he's a bad he's man. He's a bad yeah, man. That. Get that out of the way. Uh look. Right. I, of course. You know I what else he has in Green Bay, Darren? What's that? You know what else he has? He has if healthy, if healthy. 
two elite offensive tackles, Absolutely. a stud offensive line, line. Yes. in Green Bay. He yes. also has weapons to pass to, yes. including Who now mean Jimmy nothing Graham. without him? It's yeah. not like, Who right, mean nothing you without Max, him? Let's let like Derek hey, talk. Hey, Come on. Max, you're right. Where, do you, where, where else do you want to go? I mean, Stephen, like, Max just told you, 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 you your offensive line is, is strong. You have weapons on the outside. You got players that want to play in Green Bay. And listen, this is the thing about it. It reminds me, we, could you imagine us having this same conversation about Peyton Manning before the neck injury? Before no, the neck injury. You want to stay with the same team. You would all, you, I would have thought that forever that Peyton Manning, who didn't have a defense, who never could win on the defensive side of the ball, we'd, all, we'd said the same thing over and over. Can they put people around him so that he can go into the playoffs against a team like the New England Patriots and be successful because we always talked about the build around, the build around, and they never had those type of things. That's the same thing about Aaron Rodgers. I could never imagine Aaron Rodgers playing for anyone else but the Green Bay Packers. That fan base is rabid. They're all over Aaron Rodgers. He is the, the guy there. Lambeau Field without Aaron Rodgers would not be the same. And let me tell you this, the Green Bay Packers, they're going to control his destination. They're going to make sure that he's a Green Bay Packer for life. It's not going to be a situation where we see Aaron Rodgers move on. He's going to get paid, he's going to be there, and he will retire a Green Bay Packer, hopefully. Well, can I respond? Go ahead. I am in no way saying that you ignore those things. What you get, Understand what I'm saying. I have no faith that the Green Bay Packers are going to do what it takes to get him the parts that he needs. I don't trust them. 